Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. We're in my car. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So we are in my car because I have so much to do today, you guys. I have to drop off all of these packages from the plants that you guys bought from me off of Instagram. So those are going to the post office first, and then we are going to the Home Depot and the Lowe's in Bloomfield, Connecticut. It's been a little while since we went out that way, and I met up with somebody yesterday who bought a plant off of me who was local, and she said that she saw some pretty decent stuff at Bloomfield. So, naturally, I wanted to go and see for myself. So I'm a little bit tired. I'm sorry. I look like a mess. You guys are going to tell me that I don't, but like I am, I just like haven't been sleeping well the last few nights. So I'm just like a little bit out of it, but <laughs> we have things to do. So let's go. We're going to go to Lowe's first. I, I'm pretty sure I can talk. I'm having a hard time talking. We're going to go to Lowe's <laughs> in Bloomfield first, and then we're going to go to the Home Depot right after that. They're literally right next to each other and see what they have. So let's go to Lowe's. Okay, Lowe's in Bloomfield, Connecticut. It's been a while, so hopefully they got something new. Okay fam, we are at the Lowe's in Bloomfield, Connecticut, and as soon as I walk in, I see these really cute new Live Trends pots. We have some Syndapsis, a cute little fern. These are $18.98. We have this cute Pothos Enjoy. We have some ferns, a Hartley Philodendron, the neon one, or Lemon Lime. Sometimes it's called as well and a cute little rattlesnake calathea. It looks like some Schifflera hiding in there as well. And then just some succulents down below. Over here we have some more stuff from Live Trends. These snake plants caught my eye. I just thought that this one is cute. I don't know what it's called. I forget. I feel like I used to know. My brain can't hold all of the <laughs> plant names after a while. It starts kind of deleting the ones that I don't use, I guess. So I used to be better at identifying snake plants, but I genuinely can't remember. Also, this is a new pot from Live Trends and it's really stinking cute and I want it. I need it but I'm not gonna pay $15.98 for it unless I can find a plant in there that I like or think of somebody that I can gift the plant to and just keep the pot for myself. This variegated flare was literally <laughs> falling apart, but I just wanted to see the pot. I think they're really cute. I like the little feet, very nice neutral colors. And then down here they had some trending tropicals. This is the Calathea Musaica. Really cool patterns on these leaves some Monstera Adansonii, a nice big one from Live Trends, and then we have some more Trending Tropicals, Baltic Blue, Syndapsis Trubii, Moonlight, tons of ZZ Ravens, of course, and then these Geogenanthus in the Wick and Grow containers for $15.98. Those ones are plastic. I think these ones are plastic now too. They feel lighter. Then the old ones, um, they're definitely not ceramic anymore, so there's that. Tons of Syndapsis. And then for hanging baskets, we have some more Heartleaf Philodendron looking super cute, some Fetonias, this pink Syngonium, some Ferns, and then there is this Rainbow Moss. Really cute plant that's probably really thirsty. $15.98 for those hanging baskets. And then around the corner here, we have some more hanging baskets for $23.98. Some Pothos, some Red Maranta, Marble Queens, and these cute little macrames with the terracotta. 
we have another alocasia, not another. <laughs> I'm trying to not say cute, but my brain is like, oh my god, everything is so cute. This is <laughs> the alocasia uh, black velvet. I was just checking out these pots. I think they're interesting. And then there was a Hoya Curtisii hanging out over here. It was kind of stuck under another plant, so I didn't want to pull it off. And this tag is giving me a hard time, <laughs> but there's also another regular green Hartley philodendron next to it looking really cute and lush. You really can't go wrong with one of those. They fill up the room just like a golden pothos and they make everything look more tropical. So fiddly fig over here for $22.98 looking really nice in this Terracotta planter, more Adansonii, cute little baby ficus, some dead stuff back there. But I do like these stripy little pots from Urban Jungle. This staghorn fern is looking pretty stinking cute. And then it's looking like we just have some regular degular foliage the stuff we're used to seeing some bird of paradise in front of me here more fiddle leaf figs a uh, sad peace lily that needs to be watered and then around the corner here we have some more of the exotic angels assorted foliage some neon pothos lots of different ferns including this rabbit foot fern in this hanging basket for 1998 and it's called rabbit foot fern because these rhizomes kind of climb out of the pot and around the edges and they're fuzzy and apparently they look like rabbit feet. I think they look more like spider legs, but you're, you're either into it or you're not. It's kind of like a love it or hate it type of thing. Nothing really super exciting going on over here. Just the usual stuff that we see. This bird of paradise was massive though and looking really, really nice. I absolutely love this plant. If you have a nice bright area for it because it is a very like tropical plant, $49.98 for this one. They need a good amount of light. They can handle bright light um, and they like it. They prefer it. So it's kind of hard to grow it inside unless you have the right windows for it or you can put it outside i suppose um aglionema in this wick and grow container for 15.98 i was kind of tempted to snag one but i really don't need it i just think it's really pretty um i think it's commutatum but i'm not 100 percent sure i get the aglionema varieties pretty confused i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but i have a variegated one that looks really similar to that so that's what i want to say that it is um, it's just really cute with the silvery, splashy leaves. If you guys have been following along for a while, you know that I love a silvery leaf, a splashy leaf, anything like that. So, some sad orchids over here that should be on clearance probably. Some succulents, bromeliads, and then I did find um, this lipstick plant looking meh, you know sort of okay <laughs> and then outside they had lots of sago palms a cute ficus more fiddle leaf figs and they have these cute i think these are calla lilies i think they're really pretty um some more sago palms tons of ferns over here more bird of paradise and then they have one lonely little alocasia in the back and that is it Okay, fam, so that was kind of a bust, right? Like they didn't mm -hmm, they didn't have anything new or exciting. I must have missed all of the other trending tropicals that they had. Um, or maybe she said Home Depot. She might have said Home Depot. The Home Depot over here does have trending tropicals. And they do tend to be alive, even though they have lots of other plants that are dead. <laughs> they do tend to have a live table of um, trending tropicals. So let's go to Home Depot and hope that they have something good. 
because Lowe's was absolutely a bust. Like some of those plants should have been on clearance and then maybe, maybe I would have snagged one. Um, so let's go to Home Depot. All right, Home Depot. Hopefully they have something good. Some nice new trending tropicals for us to see. Hopefully, maybe. Okay fam, so now we are at the Home Depot in Bloomfield, Connecticut, but you probably knew that already, right? And we are just headed straight for where I know they keep their trending tropicals usually. And here they are. They have some really nice global greens, but obviously I came to check out these philodendron white nights. So that one's not looking super variegated. Um, this one's not looking super variegated either, but that new leaf is really pretty. So it's not terrible and it's 20 bucks. There's two plants in there. They did have some ZZ Chameleon looking mm, kind of sad. I was like trying to help it, fix it, but it wasn't really working. But um, they do have a couple, tons and tons of Global Green, some Monstera Adansonii, and I'm just showing you the tag that it's Global Green and not Lemon Meringue. The Lemon Meringue has more yellow variegation on it, so it will have like three different colors on it instead of just two. Every once in a while you will get a global green that can get some creamy spots here and there, but it is not the same. Some Tetrasperma, Aglionema is hiding in there, some ZZ Ravens, the usual uh, trending tropicals that we've been seeing, some more ZZs. And then down here there's some more global greens and this one has a little bit of that variegation that I'm talking about that is not a lemon meringue you will know it will be yellow so they don't have any of those here anymore unfortunately but they did before so I'm confident that they'll get more another Monstera Adansonii some ficus Aglionema and then this ficus caught my attention because you guys know if you've been here that I love a good ficus and this one is just really cute and really unique and it was kind of flopped over so I was trying to help it but I had to put my phone down and use both hands to help prop it up so ficus amstel king I'm not exactly sure if it wasn't $30 I probably would have snagged it you guys it was really cute I really like ficus they just don't always like me so it comes in this woven basket for $29.98 and I kind of wish I had bought it it's really cute <laughs> but it's fine I don't need it I really don't need it they have this philodendron up here another um, I don't know what do they call this one something goddess green no I don't know lemon lime do they call it lemon lime I'm not exactly sure there's so many philodendron varieties, you guys, I can't keep up. This is just a regular green one, looking really nice. The leaves can get really big on these. That's something that I like about the arubescence. I'm just not always good at knowing exactly what variety I'm looking at. <laughs> this Calathea is cute. It's called a Maui Queen, really nice. And then over here on this table, we have some of these Vigoro plants, some Diefenbachia, some palms, and these cute little Aglionema that I like. I'm pretty sure these ones are $14.98, and um, they're looking pretty healthy, not bad. They have some ZZs, some Sago palms, ponytail palms, peace lilies, and then over here we have some more assorted foliage. I thought this begonia was cute for $7.98. Cute little Rex begonia. They've got tons of Syngonium over here. Some Ivy, different Pothos varieties mixed in there. And then they had a cute little hanging basket of Staghorn Fern. If you guys missed it, I did pick up a Staghorn Fern on clearance from the Lowe's in Danbury. And um, 
I'm pretty excited to finally have one and see if I can keep it happy because everybody says that it's a pretty easy one and I figured why not it was on clearance and it was in a pot that I liked um, I just saw a mosquito so I was like <laughs> not going near that plant never mind but they have a couple of these Hoya species affinity um, Bertonia in these ceramic hanging plant hanging planters for 1998 so I feel like they have been here for a little while but um, the rest of their Hoyas are gone hopefully it's because people bought them and not because they were dying and got thrown away um, some philodendron up here, pilea, phytonia, sad spider plant, and um, some ferns, lots of ferns. They always have tons and tons of ferns at this location. I see some purple passion over here, um, but nothing really that we haven't seen already today. Peace lilies are blooming. Over here we have some floor plants. We have that Aglionema with the white edges back there, some Dracaena, some Ficus burgundy, ZZ plants, fiddle leaf figs, which are on sale for $15. The regular price for the rest is $26.99. Some really nice looking floor plants here. Definitely not mad about it. They also have like, you know, the palms and the monsteras and the snake plants and the usual stuff that we would expect to see. I think I saw a bird of paradise or two mixed in there as well. You guys know I'm always checking the Monstera Deliciosa to see if there's any sneaky little sport variegation, but I didn't see anything stand out to me today. They do have some cacti and euphorbia. This is the chocolate drop euphorbia. I have this one, I really like it. And then they did have the Euphorbia obesa, another one of my favorites. I have this one as well. Haven't seen one in a while, so it's nice to see um, that they're still getting them because I doubt that it's been sitting here for that long and nobody has snagged it. So if you've been looking for one and you're in the area, this one actually looks pretty good. Um, sometimes I see them and they look not so great, but that one actually looks pretty good. Um, and then that's really it. Just some succulents, some bonsais and different things over here. And that is it for the Home Depot in Bloomfield, Connecticut. Okay, fam. So that was the Home Depot in Bloomfield, Connecticut. They had two white knights obviously you would have seen that already and a handful of like decent other plants I suppose but nothing super exciting I mean if you are looking for a white knight they do have a couple of decent ones here not like the best variegation but if you don't really care they're here so um yeah that is it i guess we can knock another location off of our list that we have checked out and so far we have been seeing the white knights pop up quite a bit we didn't see any pink princess today i don't know if there were any at some point in time but it looks like they've already been picked through since there's only two left um and like not the best looking two, but they're healthy so it really is up to you so yeah, that is it for this video. Unfortunately, we didn't see anything too super exciting. Um, obviously, I'm happy that we found more white knights and we can confidently say that Bloomfield, Connecticut has them. Um, but I don't know, where should we go next? I think maybe back up to Manchester, see if they got anything in stock recently. Um, yeah, we'll see. Paul's and Sandy's. Want to go to Paul's and Sandy's and <laughs> see if there's anything good going on over there. But um, stay tuned for more plant shopping for sure. If you're not subscribed already to this channel, you definitely should consider it. I would appreciate it. Also, you won't miss any of the plant shopping videos that I post every week, like all the time. Videos every day except for Monday, sometimes Sunday, I switch it up, but you're getting like 
six videos a week usually. So definitely come stick around. And also if you enjoyed hanging out with me, you should give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything from me. Um, you will get notified when I go live and post videos, stuff like that, so you don't miss out on live chats. There's also a membership program if you want to be a part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks. There's a join button down there. Um, don't be afraid to click on it, check it out, see what it's all about. And uh, you guys know there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. I love you so, so very much. I am going to go get the rest of my stuff done and go home and get some rest because you can probably tell or at least hear. I feel like I sound tired. I don't know if I look tired because skincare on point. But <laughs> I definitely feel like I sound tired. So that's it for this video. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world and I will see you in the next one.